see that. All right, this title fight is a Bantamweight title it, fight, 135. Rocky Zapata fighting out of the red corner. Dewey Lee will be fighting out of the blue corner. Rocky is 5'6", Dewey Lee 5'9", both guys 135. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Three five-minute rounds. Referee for this event, Ryan Cunningham. Both guys coming up with a smile. He's pretty respectful right here. Pretty excited guys. Now, Rocky, very solid fighter, well-rounded, 18 years old, so pretty young to be up in there. Defending champ Dewey Lee out of Vanguard Gym out in Manassas, Virginia, has a great ground game. Seen this guy, very technical fighter. There's the bell, both fighters out in the middle. Henry, what do you tell young guys when they come in here? Man, I say go in there and believe in your, in your technique, ultimately, and look, don't try to win the fight in a hurry. Understand your opponent, feel them out, get comfortable in the ring, and then let them make the mistakes that you capitalize on. Yeah, that's, and, and we were just talking about that in that last title fight. It didn't seem very exciting, but a lot of technique and, you know, very yeah, subtle, very... Well, you can clearly tell they both respected each other Absolutely. so highly, right? So they're very, uh, you know, aware, very much trying to feel each other out, and, and they neutralize each other. Yeah, very even. Both fighters toe-to-toe -to -toe in the middle of the ring, standing on the Domino's logo. Dewey in the blue gloves, a Rocky Zapata. Oh, left of there. The big hook right. He's fine, he's fine. Yeah, he'll recover now. We talked about the distance of these these title fights because as an amateur you go three three minute rounds and all of a sudden you're in a title. It's a 15 nice. minute fight. Take down. Yeah, it's a huge difference. Yeah, 15 minutes compared to six. Well, yeah, and it's more the it's more the three minutes versus five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what does it. You yeah. know, three minutes you're out there, you're excited, you go to the ground, you're in the corner. Boom, one minute rest. <laughs> yeah. You know, five minutes is like feels like an eternity. Yeah. Absolutely. He wants to work that right leg out. It seems. Yeah, so there's a tight half guard right here. You see him using the hook on the inner thighs, trying to free his leg. He's got to be really careful because Zapata's full of energy right now, so he'll explode and they'll roll, you know, and he'll lose his top position if he's too eager to pass right now. Right. Seems controlled, really patient. He should be in no hurry to pass, more control the position. Of course, doesn't want to get stood up here. Right. But he has to keep the action going. See, here come the bumps. And Lee has very nice ground game. Beautiful pass. Dewey Lee been fighting a long time. I've seen him. Uh, I've seen him a long time out of Vanguard Gym, which is a Here great, the back mount. great club. Yeah. Oh, he's on him. He's on him. Nice back hook entry. Perfect timing. He's gonna look to establish the over under. Goes straight for the neck right here. First round. Yeah, Both it, guys it, are still dry. Yeah, and it feels like it's, you know, like you're waiting for it to stop at any second, but five minutes seems like an eternity, even oh, to he's me. getting up. This is always a risky proposition here because when you stand up, you're basically, your legs are out of the equation, and uh, now you hope to defend the choke. Has to. Uh, nice chin tuck. But you're hoping on the top, you're hoping on, on Lee falling off at this point. But unfortunately, if he has good hooks, and he looks like a very yeah, clingy. He's, he's high up there. He's very clingy, very sticky, and it's going to be tough to shake him off right here. So he's going to be in this situation. Oh, here comes Green. Right, the choke. Yeah, he's in. Zapata in the red gloves. Lee in the blue gloves. Zapata fighting out of the red corner. Dewey Lee fighting out of the blue corner. There he goes. He got the arm over his head. Beautiful. He's got to clear one of these hooks. He's going to look to clear one of these hooks down. Would he, he has to. Flip here is the question. It's risky. If you flip, it's almost like things get worse. So he's going to go down slowly. He already escaped the chokes pretty well. He's clearing the hooks. He cleared the outside hook. Now he's great. Ah, uh, get that hook out. Get out. Back. Slip out. There, there you goes. go. Cleared the hook and off we went. Trying to guard. Now to play a little BJJ here. That was great back mount to Zapata's only 18 years old, man. This kid is scrappy. <laughs> it's, fun, it. it's fun to watch, man. You just come out here and see these guys in technical. You know, uh, the Zamora boxing guys and the Vanguard gym guys, we just don't have a lot of gyms that just say willy-nilly, go fight. You right. Know, down here in this area, they just boom, big elbow from the guard. Good elbow. Big elbow from the guard. Once you give him a little payback so for that back mount. We're seeing Lee start to work his hips here a little bit, trying to create 90 degrees. Zapata's right elbow is blocking his hip from coming out to the side. He's trying to keep himself square inside the guard, neutralizing the arm bars. No jab to the face. Yeah, those little jabs, little hooks will come up in him. Out, out there in the crowd listening, we're joined by Hunter Gracie. Hopefully, Hunter, how long you can stick around? Can you stick around for the next title? Too? Yeah, my I mean, pleasure, my pleasure. That'll be awesome, awesome if you can, Hunter, man. That'll be awesome, because we're pleasure. going title, we're going regular, and then we're going title. And the next title between Morgan Daly and Jocelyn Browning, that's a female fight. So we're going to get a chance oh, to see that. Oh, he's the best, <laughs> man. <laughs> get to it. No, this is looking really good right here. It looks like Dewey was trying to work that arm bar. Yeah, big that time. He's trying, man, but Zapata's doing a great job of keeping the hips lined up. and Little bows there, not doing too much damage, but definitely up but still role. reminding him that he can't ignore the strikes. Absolutely. There you go. Left, oh, yeah. Very nice. That changes wow, everything. Wow, wow. See, he's going for the arm bar. He's committing to the arm bar, but he's eating elbows. It's a high risk, high reward proposition here, my friends. Definitely. Seems to be okay, a little shooken up, but he's still going to play that jujitsu game. Dewey Lee been fighting a long time, and as a, as a uh, you know, you're six and one as an amateur. That's six and one as an amateur. Normally, you're out of there. You yeah. Know, six and, I mean, that's seven yeah, fights. Yeah. You're ready to roll. 
So Dewey's been around for a little while. This is not his first rodeo. It shows, man. He's composed, man. He had some big elbows right there, right. and he's still at it, and he's calm. He's about and to putting him against the cage, which is yeah, smart. Keeping that neck against the cage, not a lot of movement that forward. That sucks Dewey, right there. Yeah, it really lowers the submission ratio when your neck is tweaked against the cage like that. It's like two people attacking one person. You know what I'm saying? Like there's another person. Absolutely. Oh, there's a triangle. He got a triangle set up. Does he have it? No, he slipped Ooh, out. He's going to take some punches here. He's gonna nice hammer fist right here from the neon belly. These hammer fists, wow. man, they don't look like much, but they. 18 year old the ref, is, the ref is watching closely. Right. I don't know. He needs to recover guard or something. Almost He's got the sweep. Here he comes. He wants he to pop over. There's like 10 he seconds left in the round. Seconds. 10 seconds. Short time. Com he wants to keep punching. He can't get submission in that type of. Oh, knee to the body. It was landed beautiful. This guy's putting it on. The ref is down. Wow. Ooh, saved by the bell. I saved by exactly you, what time. it was. That knee to the ribs took it out. Yo, look, you can see it in his face. The knee to the ribs took it out of him. Let me tell you, I can tell you that Dewey Lee. Probably came in here not expecting to fight an 18-year-old kid no. that put it to him. And I'm going to tell you, Zepeda took round number one, so Dewey has his I mean, his work cut out for him for the next two rounds. And Dewey is usually pretty sound and comes out and pops somebody really quick. Yeah, you know what it is, is Dewey got his back, got the pressure, put the hooks in, was going for the choke. But when someone neutralizes your primary offense, right. when they defend your chokes and they escape your back mount, it's demoralizing. You're thinking, yes. man, I tried my best shot and I couldn't close the deal. Absolutely. Now what am I going to do? So that's part of what's going through Dewey's head right now is, man, I tried. I had his back. I couldn't close it. What am I going to do next? In other words, if I couldn't catch him from the rear naked choke, how am I going to beat this kid, you know? Yeah. And you hate that. As an older fighter, do you just hate some young punk coming in? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. Dewey Lee's not an older yeah, fighter yeah. just yet, man. No, but I mean, you got a 6 and one guy fighting an 18-year-old. You got you can't yeah. think of somebody coming out of high school and whooping you. This That's is true. not what you think, you know? You do not plan you for this. You don't walk the high school hallways and go, I don't think I can get beat up. <laughs> Both seeming pretty good with their stamina right now. Nothing crazy. Obviously, they're fatigued a little bit, but they're both bouncing around. Ready to go. Yeah. Round two. We're ready to rock and roll. Three more minutes here. It's a pot of a little more movement in his stance, yeah. playing with the up and down. A little bounce here in his footwork, yeah. Oh, the overhand right. He's quick. And I want to use that. A little push kick there. Phil, but he caught the leg. Nice takedown. Take here we go. Looking to pass. Oh, they're going to the knee hook. Yeah, here we go. Knee, knee we'll bar transition. He's in the heel hook, it's he dangerous. Had it. He, he has it, but ah. We gotta, Dewey has to roll his hips over this way. He has to keep rolling. He has to keep rolling towards us. Dewey seems OK. He's turning. There goes the knee bar transition. It's now, tight. This is where, this, it's this is where he starts to risk His something. knee is out. His knee. No, he's not going to tap. He's not going to tap. Turn your hips. He's got to turn the hips. There he goes. Now he's coming up. Dewey uh, falls, on, falls on top. With those legs locks, when you have adrenaline pumping, you know, you're not going to give that up pumping. unless something pops. Yeah, exactly. And the knee bar, your knee is a very strong joint, very hard to make a break. So now you're going to see Dewey Lee look to pass the guard. He's resting now. He's recovering. Right, he's breathing. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he wants to throw some bows, maybe some little punches to the face, get a little points there. But he definitely wants to pass here on Zapata. Zapata just controlling those arms, not letting him posture up too much. I want to see Lee pass here. There you go. Nice, nice road pass. Look at his hand lacing through yes. the legs, over, under, one, the other. He's going to walk around, controlling the head the whole time. The Zapata, key is flexibility. Really he's nice. Turn the the back again. Same exact now, scenario as last they were time. Earlier. Guard pass on the ground. to back mount. Exactly. Very common, because Zapata doesn't want to give up the guard pass. Zapata in those red gloves. Dewey Lee in the blue gloves. Hard to call this fight right this very second in this round. Now, the first round definitely went to Zapata. Big time. Now, Zapata maybe. Uh, See if he gets that right hook. It's going to be Dewey. tough, yeah. Get that right under hook. Zapata's doing a pretty good job keeping his hip down, but he's going to try to build the house right here. Here he goes. See if he gets that right hook with the leg. There Ooh. it is. It's in. All right, it's in. Now let's see if he starts working that choke again, like we talked about earlier. Does he yeah. want to go for it again? Did it demoralize him up? He wants to punch a little more, maybe get up under he's, that chin. Zapata try to shake him off, maybe clear one hook and try to shift his hips off of him. Both hooks in there really it's good. tough, man. When you stay in the turtle position like this, it's hard to clear the hooks. Now he's flattened yeah, out. This is very bad. Got back up to his knees. You don't want to be flattened out, belly down with hooks. Absolutely. So you want to turn up and start to fight the hands. He's doing a great job of fighting the top arm, but you see Lee is switching the other hand on the inside. The other hand has entered. He has the underhook, the chin nearly underhooked. Does he want to? Is the body going to try to stand again like I he don't did earlier? Think he should. Uh, even though he was successful, it's a very energy-consuming process to stand up with someone on your back and try to shake them off. He's while better you, off. While you guys are fighting right here, and you're in this, and you're in a title fight, is all this stuff going through your mind? All this move yeah, your hips? Yeah. And, I mean, is that is, is that's we're talking about the technique, but the crowd yelling at you? I mean, this they don't hear any of they don't hear any of us. They don't hear any of them. These guys are in there a hundred percent. All they can hear is their own heart beating yeah. and their own thoughts passing through their brain and an occasional punch in the head. So they're very centered when they're in there. A lot of times you'll have, have fighters go in and come out and say, "Henry, I couldn't hear anything you were saying. Not one thing." Right. 
And I'm yelling at these guys top of my lungs. <laughs> there they are back standing, both hooks in. One is kind of shallow, as you can see. And you'll see Zapata shake him off this way. You can tell the choke's not going to work because his hips are falling. Now we're going right. to go to guard. We'll see if he can slip him off there. At yeah, this point, a, they are sweating. Great job. Oh, the second round. Oh, he's, he's still going to try to work that? It's a bad angle. Yes, it's a it he's falling off too much to this side right here. He knows it. There, there you go. Is, there the back hook. in the guard. Now Zapata's back, Zapata's back on top. That's, That's what he, what does he wants here. to be. He's exactly. got him against the cage. Great Very cornering important. position. Great cornering here. We're going to see a couple right. I, Dewey just looks this tired. He's controlling the Kimura yes, for sure. This is, a, this, is a, this is a situation. The problem is he would need to roll him over that way in the direction of the fence, which is not going to obviously happen. Absolutely. Body shots loosen up. He's trying to discourage him from going. Oh, those are great. Those are great yes, uppercuts. Right to the chin. Those made him let go of the control of the wrist. Very important. Now he's got both left and right free to throw some bombs here. Oh, yeah. He's this, working. And the Dewey's ref is tired. Watching. Dewey seems a little tired. That's yeah. what I was going to say. The ref he is watching real. closely. He is. He has to. If Zapata keeps pressure like this, they're going to stop good, it. Good knees to the body. And he's, he's isolating. If he keeps this up, yeah. the ref might have to call this. Brian watching very carefully right now. A lot of punches. He's going to call this very yeah, shortly. He's going to call it. He's got to do something. He's going to call it. A lot of strikes. He's not calling it. That's yeah, it. That's it's over. It. Very nice by Zavada. Very impressive. Yeah. Believable. That was very impressive. And I don't think Dewey Lee was ready for that at all. Yeah, and he overcame both back mount adversity, man. This guy came, you know, definitely. Right. Good to see a young guy come in here like that and do that. Hit yeah. us. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. I'm here with you guys. Okay. We got, we got a fight, a and then we got the female title fight we want you to call with us. Okay, right. perfect. Zawicki's with us next. Marshall's with us next. Of course, Zapata comes away with the belt here at O Fights 32. Be right back live from Washington, D.C. Boom.